What's up, roller booters? Hope you're doing well. We are headed to Pearsall Park for the second session in the uh, the 2021 Nick Lomax Aeon 60s um, to kind of get some sort of second impressions on them. Haven't skated them since uh, my last video, and so um, headed. Gonna try to try some different stuff. Try to see how we can achieve wheel bite or where wheel bite might be the worst in, in on different kinds of tricks and things and obstacles that we didn't skate back in Dallas. So anyway, looking forward to the session. Hope you like the video and I'll give some thoughts after the session. So stick around to hear those. As always, make sure to like and subscribe if you do like the content. Um, if you don't like it, make sure to give it a thumbs down if that's the case too. But either way, I hope you do like it and uh, we'll see you at the park. Okay, so I go for the true top sole on the rail here, and then I go to rewind three out. Look at my front foot, slips right off. And I flare up, flail around and, hopefully, and luckily save it. But that was something that was kind of strange on that, so just something to note. Okay, so had our second session with the Lomax Aeon 60s here. Had another good session. I'll be honest, um, I felt a little bit like we took two steps forward with the first session and then one step back with this one. I don't know why, I just felt very unnatural in the skate today. Um, it's hard for me to put my finger on why, but I really just felt like I was like almost relearning how to skate again. So <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm still just getting used to the flat, honestly, um, which is totally fine. I will say today I had some pretty significant wheel bite on a couple different obstacles and I'll show you right here. That was at least, well, I say obstacles plural, but that was really one notable time and multiple times um, that resulted in eating shit, to be honest with you. Um, so I don't know. I'm gonna look at potentially getting wheels with a different profile. Um, you know, maybe something with a little bit more of a rounded um, profile to hopefully minimize wheel bite. But um, yeah, we're gonna keep giving them a shot here. Um, towards the end, really felt like, I guess, let me back up. On switch ups, everything felt pretty good. Again, it still kind of felt like I was getting used to things. But at the very end, when I was <clears throat> starting switch up, um, I think I tried a front torque and got a couple different grinds where I got like significant wheel bite and it kind of spooked me. I'm gonna be honest. You know, I kind of pushed through it and got to the point towards the end where I was in a pretty good rhythm and, and was able to do some pretty decent switch ups. But I think that was, to me, this is like, that was the, the biggest point where 
Um, you know, I didn't, when I was skating in Dallas, I didn't do a lot of switch ups. I didn't have the opportunity to, there wasn't a lot of uh, longer rails to do switch ups on it. And so today I really learned that it was a little bit of a challenge for me to get used to these with switch ups. And I think part of it really, honestly, this is the second time I've ever skated these skates. I've been skating cold boot for three plus years. I get it. Like I'm still getting used to these things, right? And so I'm not gonna, I'm not bashing them. Um, and then once I started to get used to them on switch ups, they were great. Sorry, I was just making sure my microphone was on. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I hope I don't have to re-record re all this. Um, but yeah, once I started getting used to them on switch ups, which is something I really was curious because again, the first time I skated them, I didn't really do many switch ups. Um, and so it took some getting used to. Once I once I got the hang of it, once I got in the rhythm, it, they felt pretty good, especially the porn stars. Um, I haven't done a lot of those. I've just never really been good at porn stars in any configuration, to be honest with you. It's funny because my brother is like a champ. That's like his go-to trick. He does full cab value top horns all the time. But for me, and if you're watching this, you know what I'm talking about. In Atlanta, that full cab, was it full cab value top horn? I think it was full cab. Anyway, whatever. Um, but today, as you can see in the last few clips, um, there was some pretty, um, decent alley top porns and, and porn stars, whatever. And I've never been that comfortable doing porn stars in a, in a boot before, honestly. So that was kind of cool. Um, that was that was a very cool point, to be honest. Um, outside of that, honestly, you know, I'm gonna keep riding flat and I'm gonna try some different wheels. Um, so I'm gonna keep pushing forward. Again, these things are so much fun to blast around the park with in terms of efficiency. Um, so really just the power you can translate to the ground is fantastic. But I'm definitely going to continue to skate them flat and potentially look into a different wheel configuration to minimize wheel bite. Um, because honestly, today I had it a couple times to where it was very noticeable and, um, and it was not enjoyable, right? Um, so anyway, we'll keep working on it. You know, I'm not giving up on flat for sure. I'm gonna try some different wheels, like I said, and, and we'll keep pushing forward. I will say too, um, on the original video, you know, I was like, oh cool, maybe you can skip this top eyelet and then just use the hooklets, but actually the way it's designed, and I think it's 30 and Roland, shout out to 30 and Roland, I'll give you um, a shout out in the description. So check him out, check out his, uh, his channel if you haven't already, 30 and Roland. But he did an Aeon review and, um, <laughs> and I watched it after I bought the skates and skated them on my last video. Um, but yeah, lace them all the way to the top and then on the last one, go across, hook the opposite eyelet and then, oh geez, hook the opposite eyelet and then just tie them as normal, if that makes sense. So that actually gives you a lot more leverage, a lot more security. And they felt good. I used some thicker socks today. They felt strong, they felt good, really good flex. I really like the flex, honestly. I said that in the last video and it's really good. Oh, one thing, um, man, I was just standing there and like literally just put my sole plate, kind of flex my foot, put my sole plate on the ground and the cuff bolt just like shot out. Um, and I was warned by that by Tom and some other people that like the cuff bolts just come loose on their own, like quickly. And I skated these once and then literally for about 15 minutes today and the cuff bolt, like two of the cuff bolts were like ready to come out. So um, yeah, I may consider lock tightening them. I'm gonna look into that and I'm sure, you know, if you have experience with this, give me um, a comment down in the comment section. Um, but yeah, so I think maybe some Loctite. Um, but yeah, that was kind of unfortunate. You know, it was, two of them were extremely loose. And before I skated them the first time, I cranked every bolt down on the skate. So anyway, that's unfortunate, but um, we'll figure it out. And another thing I actually wanted to mention is these keepers on the kind of cuff here to kind of keep this, keep your buckle in place. Once it, once everything's actually cinched down, and maybe there's a trick to this, maybe I'm not getting it, but today I noticed, I looked down and really, like once I had been skating and, and jamming around a little bit, these kind of keepers right here, man, this strap was just topping right over them. Uh, you know, on either direction. So like they weren't, you know, it seemed like they were offering some resistance to skipping, you know, to keeping the buckle in place. And maybe it was some mistake I was doing, um, but I could tell that, not tell, I mean, it was obvious that the buckle was just, I mean, all the way over it on, I can't remember top or the bottom on both skates or, or differ on either. But, a, you know, I think a great idea, but for some reason, it just didn't seem like it was working very well today. And so um, that was unfortunate because I thought these were working pretty good, but anyway, Anyway, um, still absolutely love the skate. Listen, I don't want to sound negative on these things at all. I think they're fantastic skates. Um, I think I'm still feeling them out and I still have some things to figure out, right? Um, so anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry, this was kind of long-winded. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video, Roller Booters. See ya.